add a video, upload a video onto your assignment. So if you haven't already, you're going to click on the plus button here inside of your classroom and you're going to click on assign activity. If you are creating a new activity, you're going to pick create new or you can pick a different one and edit it. I'm going to type create new. I am then going to give my um, activity a name. Later on, I can go ahead and do instructions here. You can type your instructions in here. All right. If we go down a little bit, I can add voice instructions simply by clicking on that and clicking on the microphone to begin recording. For example, I am giving instructions here on how to upload a video onto Seesaw. And we'll go ahead and stop that. And it's processing the video. And now my video instructions are there. Okay, next we are going to scroll down to add template for student. And we are going to click on the drawing tool um, to give people the opportunity to have a blank page. So we're just going to go there and we are then going to click on the camera icon over here on the left hand side. We're going to click on the camera and we're going to click on to upload. Now your files that you want to upload, your um, videos must be on your computer. So I have my files stored in my video folder over here. So I'm going to click on that that I want to upload and I'm going to say open. Okay, so I've highlighted the video I want to upload. By the way, your video must be under 250,000 kilobytes or 250 megabytes. So this one here will not work because it is too large. It would need to be compacted into something smaller. This one is just fine. I click open and it will upload. If you have a larger file, it will probably say to you, um, this is going to take a while, but go ahead and continue. All right. And so now if we click play, our video is right there in Seesaw. Okay. Next, I'm going to add a page to Seesaw. And here's where I can demonstrate something that I want the students to do. So I'm going to click on the okay, microphone and I'm going to give some instructions here on what I want them to do. And we click on st or start recording or it will just start. All right, students, um, today I would like you to um, draw a picture of something you did this summer that brought you joy. All right. And so I'm going to go ahead and pick a color over here and pick the tool of my choice. Um, I'm going to click the pen and I'm going to draw a picture here of a person. And I apologize for my crude drawings. Okay. And it's me. And I'm going to draw though then like a little pond here. Okay. And so I've got a little pond and then I'm going to draw a fishing pole with a line and I am fishing. Okay. And so when I'm done with my demonstration, I'm going to say, go ahead onto the next page for students and they can create their drawing there. So then I click done and my video is now here. It's only going to show the video once I start drawing. It does not show the tools, just so you know. So we're going to add a third page there and that is where the students can go ahead and create their own drawing or their own response. All right, when we are finished, we click check. And now if we scroll down, you will see that my template is attached. And if I click on that template, it brings us right back here. Okay. If I wanted to redo my instructions here and I wanted to do something different, I would simply just click on the microphone and I can re-record and I would just simply say, whoops, I would simply say yes to that. It's not allowing me to scroll down. So um, I would say yes to do that. Okay. 
So that is how you upload a video. And we're going to click Save. And that activity is ready to assign. So when I am ready to assign it, I will make a new video.